let's see how the remaining working will take place. Now you can see that both the diodes uh, D1 and D2 uh, they will start conducting and they will be allowing the currents uh, ID1 and ID2 to flow. Obviously this currents will flow based on the values of V1 plus V2 and V1 minus V2. We will not be very much interested in the exact relationship between the current uh, ID and the input to the diode because if you remember in case of a diode the voltage current relationship is given by is given by the exponential function if you remember it is i equal to is into e raised to v upon eta vt minus 1 where v is the voltage across diode i is the current flowing through the diode all we want to use from this equation is that it is non-linear equation due to the presence of non-linear function which is exponential function so we are using diode as a non-linear device in this balanced modulator please remember that both the diodes according to this mathematical equation will generate the currents id1 and id2 you can see that uh, the currents will be flowing in the opposite directions across the output transformer output transformer is also center tap transformer this time there is a center tapping on the primary side both the diodes currents since they are flowing in the opposite direction when you draw the equivalent output current IO on the secondary of the transformer then because of the opposite direction of the two currents my final current IO will be nothing but the difference between ID1 and ID2 now I'm not interested in uh, what order it is whether ID1 minus ID2 or ID2 minus ID1 because we are more interested in the fact that the two currents are being subtracted and uh, the final output current is being generated. You will see this when we do the mathematical analysis. So on the output side, there is again a bandpass filter in the form of inductor and a capacitor, which will be centered around the carrier frequency. It will have the bandwidth of 2 FM. This filter will have the bandwidth of 2 FM and it will have passband from FC minus FM to FC plus FM because from FC minus FM up to FC is my lower sideband and from FC to FC plus FM is my upper sideband. So I want my output signal to contain all this lower and upper sideband frequencies. So that will be the passband of the bandpass filter. And this will ensure that all the unwanted frequencies which are not part of the AM signal will remain out of the uh, output signal load represents the final uh, circuitry to which the signal will be given please remember that both upper and lower sideband will be extracted only when the output bandpass filter is centered around carrier frequency so center frequency fr will be the carrier frequency that doesn't mean that the carrier signal will also come at the output side even though output bandpass filter is centered around the carrier frequency there is no carrier frequency at first place in the output signal. So it, it is not going to go towards the load side. And how this cancellation of carrier frequency takes place is uh, the most important part of the entire working of balanced modulator. So let me quickly recall the main purpose of using this circuit. We want to only generate the two sidebands and we want to uh, get rid of the carrier signal. We don't want carrier signal to come at the output side. So we will now do a small mathematical analysis. We will start with the input signals V1, which is my carrier signal and V2, which is my modulating signal. We will use them and we will prove that the output is the two sidebands, which are in the form of FC plus FM and FC minus FM. And there is no carrier signal present. 